Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be about taming hamsters. As I've been having a lot of questions about how to tame hamsters in previous videos via the comments, I decided to make a video of my own telling you how I would tame my hamsters. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and comment down below. Let's dive into the video. Spend a couple of days talking to your hamster when they're out playing or exploring a new cage. This could be reading a book, talking to your hamster about your day or anything else you would like to talk about. Take this step seriously as this will help your hamster get used to your voice and let them know that you are there and you're not a threat to them. Most times in the future when you approach your hamster's cage you're going to talk to them before you actually open up their cage. So getting them used to your voice is very important and this will allow them to recognise your voice and recognise you and then that way they'll know it's you that's approaching their cage before you actually even enter it. So this is a very important step and it's very very good for your hamster to know the sound of your voice because hamsters can actually hear better than they can see so it is better to rely on their hearing than their sight. After your first couple of days have passed, continue to talk to your hamster while placing your freshly washed hand in their cage without treats to begin with. This will introduce your hamster to their worst enemy, which is hands. Most hamsters will be afraid of hands to begin with, and this is okay, just continue to do this until your hamster becomes intrigued in your hand. Start to add treats to the mix. Continue to talk to your hamster with your again freshly cleaned hand in the cage, with treats on your palm and try to encourage them to take the treats from your hand. You're going to want to stay at this stage for a couple of days until you can get your hamster to walk onto your hand without treats. You can also hand feed your hamster one treat at a time with your fingers. After you can comfortably get your hamster onto your hand with no treats, Start to elevate them slowly a couple of inches from the bottom of their cage. This will help them to get used to hand movement and don't forget to continue talking to them. Your voice at this point should be keeping your hamster relatively calm and feeling safe. If you don't feel comfortable enough by lifting your hamster up with your hands, you can also get a tube and get them to get into the tube and you can lift the tube up and down slowly and this will give them the same feeling as what it would be like to get lifted out of their cage. Once your hamster becomes happy with dealing with hand movement, you can move on to this stage and start playing a game I like to call step ladder. Step ladder is when you continuously move your hands so that your hamster can climb from one hand to the other. Playing this game until your hamster seems fed up will help complete the taming. You're going to want to play step ladders with your hamster every single day. This game will be something that you'll do with your hamster probably for the rest of its life because it's not only fun for the hamster but it's also fun for you. Remember to not just stop holding your hamster and visiting it every day as some hamsters can become untamed very quickly. Which means you will have to start this process all over again which isn't fun for anyone. I believe that all hamsters can be tamed and some will just take longer than others. It's all down to the commitment of the owner. If the owner is willing to put in the effort of taming their hamster. Some hamsters may also need certain things in this guide to be changed or tweaked to suit the hamster or to suit the owner. All hamsters are different, they all have different personalities, so you may need to adapt to your hamsters personality and needs in order to help tame them and to help you tame them as well. Okay this one's for you guys and girlies out there that are scared or nervous about being bitten by a hamster. I know it's hard but you guys will really need to drop the fear and move on as your hamster will be able to sense that you're nervous and this will make your hamster anxious too. Honestly the bites really aren't that bad and to be honest the likelihood of your hamster biting you is slim unless they are scared or feeling threatened. Just relax and tame yourself, pun intended. I know you guys will be like, it's okay for you, you deal with hamsters on a daily basis and you're not scared of getting bitten, but believe it or not, I was actually petrified of hamster teeth. And then when we got the rats, my fear of teeth came back again because the rats teeth are so much bigger than the hamsters. But you just have to kind of go over it and just move on so that you can actually enjoy your time with your hamsters. Or your rodents. Any kind of rodent that's got teeth usually is quite scary. The only ones that don't ever scare me is guinea pigs and rabbits because they never have a tendency to actually bite and their teeth are the biggest out of them all. 
So guys, that's all the information that I have for you in this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you have any questions that you think I could answer for you, do comment them down below because I will respond to them on this video because I want to try and help you guys as much as you can to be able to spend as much time with your hamsters as you possibly can. As we all know, they've got short lives, so every day counts. And yeah, I'll see you all next week's video. Bye, guys. I find it weird that I still do the whole salute thing even though I'm only doing a voiceover. <laughs>